my 2005 Dodge Ram uh, 2500 uh, Cummins turbo diesel uh, I had a video first time I well when I first bought it uh, since then it had a running board that went uh, the whole length from there to there and then from here uh, back to here and uh, I took this back portion off, I thought it looked kind of goofy. Um, but anyway, so the truck had uh, 265 7017 inch tires. Uh, I put 285s on it. Uh, I think it looks better with 285s. Looks more uh, filled out. Bear with me, the truck's a little bit dirty. Uh, the truck after all. Gooseneck plate uh, with the ball, it's two and five sixteenths. And uh, look in the back here. Plug there. Um, maybe you put the tailgate down. The only problem I've had with it is it's rusting right along here. I don't really know why, but uh, it's got the rust right along this seam. It's got the light input there in the bat in the uh, box. Pull that back up. It's uh, the exhaust is a four-inch uh, turbo back. There's no, uh, you know, it's just a turbo back. There's nothing between the back of the turbo and and everything. Uh, the windows are tinted. Um, you can kind of tell. I uh, can't really see in it too well. Flip up mirrors, you know, for the, the tow package. There you go. Flip back down. Um, sliding rear window. I put these heavy duty badges on it. Uh, I thought they looked kind of cool. We come around to the front. Is a, I think it's an SLT. I think it's what it says. Um, it's got fog lights and all that stuff. Um, actually, I've got HIDs in the fog lights, uh, 55 watt. They're pretty bright. We'll go to the interior of the truck here. Um, you can see nothing much in the way of doing, you know, too much work to it. Again, it's dirty in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, got my GPS mounted in the cup hole or the uh, ashtray there. Um, Agility brake controller works pretty well. Got my uh, Sirius up here. Uh, trust got, let's see, has 84 thought. What the heck? Disappeared. Let's see if we can flip it on here. There we go. 84,679 miles over right now. I bought it with 73,000 something on it. But at any rate, don't mind the wire, that's my antenna for my Sirius. That's my Quadzilla Scout. Um, it's got all my gauges in it, like pyro and uh, exhaust temperature, water temperature. Um, I don't know why it's not very clear. Kind of disappointing, but anyway. This is boost here. Then intake temperature, water temperature, and exhaust temperature. Um, aftermarket head unit, I did that. Uh, it had a standard, you know, head unit in it when I bought it. I redid the shift knob. I put a different shift knob. I got this off of eBay here. Um, it's the Cummins logo. It's, it, uh, shows the gears, one through six, reverse, um, but it's got the Cummins logo on it. It's a 10 inch subwoofer back behind this passenger seat. It's a Sony subwoofer, a Sony amp. Uh, the sound system I think is lagged. That little extra 
so I decided to put that in there. Um, recent addition uh, within the past week is a Bank 6 gun, which I've mounted right there. So I can just kind of look over, click, click, bam, there you go. It's on uh, 3 right now. Look under the hood real quick here. And there's, you know, a few things under the hood here. All this wiring is for the 6 gun. Um, there's a couple of wires in there for um, the Quadzilla uh, Scout. Um, I've got my hookups for my smoke switch, which I don't have in right now. Um, I took that out when I was doing the 6 gun. I just never put it back in. Uh, you look over here. Got the frame boost air intake. Um, it's, you know, I don't know. But uh, there's a Fram Boost air intake at the EGT probes for both the, uh, the, this one's for the Scout, um, and this one's for the 6-gun. Um, the only reason that it's in there, I'm just going to shove it under the heat shield here. The only reason it's in there is because it had to be, um, I bought the 6-gun from a guy, and it already had the uh, speed loader installed on it and you needed the exhaust temperature probe for the speed loader. So that's why that's just kind of shoved in there and it seems to work out pretty good because all I got to watch for is the temperature of, uh, I think it cuts off at 1350 degrees um, temperature reading and I can watch that myself with the Scout. Um, the silencer ring and the turbocharger uh, is removed. I'd show you but I don't really feel like trying to crawl around down in there to get, you know, undo the clamps and all that crap. Uh, wire for the subwoofer here. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, not really many, uh, many more things that I've done with it. Um, other than I repainted that. So, I, you know, I thought that looked kind of neat like that, but at any rate, so that's pretty much it about that. Put the hood down there. And uh, the fog lights here, got some water in them for some reason, but at any rate, they're uh, HID. I'll show you that later. My neighbor's leaf blowing. Alright. So, uh, we'll catch you later. Bye.